my stalker at work turned from poor and stealing to super rich and might have killed someone in like a week. This happened to me in the summer of 2019, when I was 19 f and working at a dollar store as a summer job between semesters at university. A guy came into the shop around closing 9 p.m., around late 20s early 30s and was obviously high. He had the red eyes, slurred speech, everything. Anyways, I said my normal fake high and smile any retail employee knows what I'm talking about and just let him into the store. He grabbed a card and started piling stuff into it, only 20 minutes later to come up to my till saying his weed had worn off and he no longer wanted the pile of stuff in the cart. At this point I was super pissed, because that meant I had to put it all back. He paid for a few things, thanking me for being so chill about the fact that he was high. Then basically started telling me his whole life story about how his wife left him and took his three kids with her, that he was broke, etc. He started asking me what my name was, where I lived, obviously I lied. He said he would be back and walked out. I thought nothing of it. I noticed that he started coming in a lot more often, with his backpack, and he always made eye contact with me, coming up to the till to pay for a bottle of water or something. He kept asking me questions about myself and I was pretty discreet I've been stalked numerous times. I suspected that he was stealing, to be honest I didn't really care, but he always gave me that look, as if I was his accomplice, or something. Then, it started getting super weird. I didn't tell my boss about him, granted I probably should have, but I didn't want to accuse someone of stealing because of their financial status or whatever else might be going on. I didn't want to accuse him in case he was innocent and I was just misunderstanding things. I think she knew something was up though because of how uncomfortable I was whenever he came in, asking if someone could cover me until or asking for an early break, etc. I wasn't actually at work for this part, but my boss told me about it later. She said he came into the store in tears, admitting that he had been stealing from the store the last couple of weeks. He told her he had made a list of things he stole and was going to pay it all back this is where I remind it was a dollar store, it's not like he snagged the Mona Lisa. I was stocking shelves when I saw him next. He came up the aisle and snuck up behind me, startling me. He insisted he wasn't there to steal, then professed his love to me, insisting that I call him I didn't even have his number, not that I would have if I did. I wasn't at the till when he went up to pay for a handful of chocolate bars, but my boss was, and she told me he pulled out a wad of bills to pay for them. She asked him where he got the money and he quote responded I found a pot of gold, she thought he was joking. So she asked him with amusement where he found it and he quote responded I found it next to a dead leprechaun to say she was freaked out was an understatement, and she told me that if he came back to call her immediately. A week later was when I saw him next, annoyed at the sound of a car in the parking lot. I turned, looking out the window behind my till to see a car, it looked like an expensive blue sports car, maybe like a Lamborghini or something I'm not sure, but it was definitely expensive. It was racing through the parking lot very loudly and stopped right in front of the store. I watched him get out and my eyes widened in shock. He was in an expensive black suit, hair gelled back, he looked like he just came out of a CEO board meeting. So he comes into the store and before I could even call my boss over the speaker he was up at my till, leaning towards me and saying so, when are you gonna call me? In like this flirty seductive way. I don't remember what I said, probably made up some excuse. I transferred stores to another city for school not long after, so I never saw him again, but I still remember his face that last time when he looked at me like a piece of meat instead of a person. I also question what he meant when he said a dead leprechaun. My friends think he won the lottery, my mother thinks that he got an inheritance from a dead relative, but I hold firm in my belief that I think he became a hired hitman and started killing people for money. What do you think?